I guess you can see I changed the angle of the lens. It's much better to see this way. So we have 15 on in our circle now. So we're going to start the um, third round. So in that first crochet, we're going to crochet one. In the second crochet, we're going to do another single one. And in the third crochet, we're going to do two single crochets. One, two. And that's four in all. And the next one, one. And then the next one, another single one. And then the next one, we're going to do two. And then one. And then another single one in the next one. And then that final one, two. Stretch your work so you can see that. And then the next one, a single one. Another single one in the next one. And then two. And so we should have um, that 17. And then we're going to take our little marker off. See, 18, <laughs> none of that. So we should count them. Right now. And then the last one is two. So we should have 20 around. Let's count them now. I'm going to use a smaller crochet needle to point them out. Pull this one off. <coughs> so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. <coughs> so we have twenty on our work on our circle here. You can then take your marker and move it to this 20th one and mark it if you like. For the benefit of beginners, we'll do that. I hate counting, so we're going to mark that. And then we're going to just work around in those 20 crochets. Oops pull that through like that not too tight and we're going to work this now <coughs> we've did three rounds and so we're going to just work this round 12 more times <sighs> depending on the size that we want to achieve okay so let's just get started <coughs> there's a few things that I want to point out where the tail is that's the inside of the slipper. That will be the inside of the slipper. So we'll be working with the outside <coughs> of the slipper. And you can just kind of bend that around if you like because it's easier to see your work and just continue to pull your work so you can see your stitches. The single crochets so, and they're easier to work with that way. So we're just going to work that around. Uh, oops, pull that out. When you mess up, working with two string sometimes and and I like to keep my work kind of tight so it's even um, some people work a little looser but um, 
as I, I work, I pull my work. And I'll show you that in just a minute. We're going to work this around. I'm going to do a couple of rounds with you. And then um, we're going to meet back up at, at the end of the uh, toe section where we're going to start the back of it. But we're, I'm going to work this around with you. And you can see where we're going to, um, how I'm going to pull my work, stretch my work, I should say and um, show you that you don't have to move that marker right now. That marker is, is purely for the beginners or people that count their work. Um, I do count, but <clears throat> I do use a lot of visuals. I'm, I'm still that kind of old school crocheter. And I know some people know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, I, I just don't like counting a whole lot. I just use a lot of those visuals and that's how I learned to uh, actually crochet and get that one in there and we're going to come up to that one where the marker is and for those beginners we're going to work around that marker we're going to go right beside it <clears throat> See, just don't grab it pull it up beside it okay and then pull that up on there and then pull your work where you work so you can see those those crochets okay and then we're going to go on over skip on over see and that's that's in there with that marker so just pull that marker to the front or put it to the back whichever is easier for you and then just work over it it'll be easy to come just pull that off okay and then just work that around again and you see how I, I started the um, the toe part I pushed the uh, the tail part the other way and we're going to work this around continue to work this around and uh, before I meet you up I'm just one last other corner that I'm going to tell you how, how I'm counting you can basically see your rows you know, this is, <clears throat> that was the first three, and then the 15, and then starting on the 20. So, I'm just going to start from the 15. There's one, two, three, four. So we have four rows going already here. And we're almost four, because when you get around to the marker, that's how you can determine when that row is complete. So we're just about finished with that fourth row. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me see. One, two, three. Yeah, four. <laughs> see, I told you I hate counting. Okay. And I do kind of work tight, so um, half cans and blankets I do work a little looser depending on what kind of blanket I'm making but the the, the cozy cocoons you want those to, to feel kind of snug and tight okay and we're over that stitch where the marker was we're just gonna go right past that and continue to work oops pull. make sure you pull both threads through when you're working around because it'll look all kind of tacky. Pull my yarn, get it out of the skein, get some going. What I do is I, I pull some out a little bit like that. Just kind of lay it to the side <clears throat> when I'm working so it won't be so tight and I wrap it on, get my tension going there. And then I'm going to continue to work. So I'll see you after 12 rounds.